Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Game on MCOWASH. I'm MCOWASH, and today we're playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In the last episode, we made our way to Rock Tunnel, and in this episode, we're going to be tackling Rock Tunnel first thing. If you missed our last episode, go ahead in my channel and check it out. This is going to be a great episode, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with battling a couple trainers here. Looks like we have a camper to start off with. Followed by a coach trainer. I've been out of the Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. If you always lose at the gym, you're probably going to lose again since I have the gym badges so far. It's going to be Camper Vance. He's going to have two Pokemon. First one's going to be an Eevee. We're going to send out Bulbasaur right off the bat. I think Bulbasaur's going to be in front for the majority of this episode. Since I'm anticipating quite a bit of... Rock type Pokemon going into Rock Tunnel. Eevee is going to be level 22. I'm going to set up Leech Seed here. I'm anticipating it's going to be a little bit grindy. Eevee is level 22. Bulbasaur is level 26. I think we're going to be in good shape. We're going to go ahead and use the Poison Powder. Set up for the Leech Seed Poison Powder combo. It's going to go ahead and Sand Attack us. Those are always pretty annoying because it makes us miss quite a bit. But we went ahead and hit the poison powder here. And gain some more life off the leech seed. We're doing pretty good against this Eevee here. Next step is going to be using Razor Leaf against the Eevee. And that's going to be zapped with leech seed and poison powder damage every turn. Should only take a couple turns of this and we should be on our way we might actually get there with a leech seed poison powder damage here we may have to do one more razor leaf but let's go ahead and check it out zapped by the leech seed hurt by the poison and it did it eevee is down moving on to the camper's second pokemon about to use Psyduck. It's a good matchup for us. However, yeah, no, let's go ahead and just keep on battling with the Bulbasaur. I was thinking about switching out maybe because of the sand attack. But you know what? We'll just go ahead and use Razor Leaf. Almost got us in one shot, or got the Psyduck in one shot. Confusion. It's going to be super effective, but doesn't do that much damage. We'll go ahead and use Razor Leaf one more time. And the Psyduck will be down. I can see why now it didn't do very good against maybe Lieutenant Surge with that Psyduck. 440 Poké Dollars and two Great Balls added to the bag. I see there's an item here in the corner. It's going to be five more Poké Balls. I don't think we're on any shortage of Poké Balls, but it's always good to get a couple more. We're going to go ahead and get this other item before we tackle the Coach Trainer. It's going to be three more Great Balls. We're going to go ahead and tackle this coach trainer here. The rock tunnel is a tough place. Why don't you train here? I'll train you every step of the way if you want. Okay, Katie, I'll give you a workout. Let's go ahead and battle this coach trainer. It's going to have two Pokemon. Coach trainer Tasha sent out Poliwhirl. It's a pretty good matchup against us. Since I'm going to send out Bulbasaur right off the bat. I'm not sure I'm going to have to use... The Leech Seed Poison Powder combo here. We'll just go ahead and use Razor Leaf. Bubble Beam. Didn't do that much damage. It's not very effective. I thought Razor Leaf's going to do slightly more. However, the Poliwhirl is level 25. Bulbasaur's only level 26. We're going to get hit with Bubble Beam again. Not very effective. We're going to go ahead and use Razor Leaf. But it's going to be enough. We got a critical hit there. Enough to knock out the Poliwhirl, 404 experience points. Spark screwed to level 26. And Tasha's going to send out a Primeape. Hmm, I think we're just going to keep on battling here. Primeape's going to be level 26. This might be a little bit tougher of a challenge. We're going to go ahead and use the Leech Seed Poison Powder combo. See if we can gain some health back. Its fighting moves, though, are not going to be very effective against the Bulbasaur. 
gaining some life back with the Leech Seed. Let's go ahead and see if we can maybe hit a Poison Powder. Let's go ahead and try out the Poison Powder. It's going to use Brick Break. Not very effective against Bulbasaur. And we set up the combo here. We're going to go ahead and use Razor Leaf. We should be chipping away at this Primate pretty quickly at this rate. Gaining some more life. We're in pretty good shape here. I'm a little worried about maybe a seismic toss. But it's going to go ahead and use Brick Break again. Not very effective. We may have to use a potion here just to be on the safe side. So we're not quite chipping away at this Primeape quickly as we need to to win this race. Still 15. Yeah, it's going to be pretty close. Let's go ahead and just use a potion. When you need to use a super potion, we'll be in good shape to take out this Primeape at this point. And that will be the Coach Trainer. I'm assuming the Coach Trainer is not going to be using a potion as well. Gain some more life off the Leech Seed. And the poison might do it here. And it does. Primeape will be down and the coach trainer has been defeated. 496 experience points for Bulbasaur. Grew to level 27. We'll have to stop the evolution. 517 CP. Wants to learn growth. Hmm. We have sleep. Yeah, I think we just like our moves. Sleep powder, poison powder. Razor Leaf and Leech Seed. I don't think I really want to get rid of any of those for growth. Clefairy grew to level 21. Way to go, youngster. 2,600 Poke Dollars in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and stop this evolution. Bulbasaur is not evolving anytime soon. Turns out you taught me a thing or two. Here, take this. TM 13 Brick Break. Break through an opponent's light screen or reflect. We're going to go ahead and heal really quickly before we enter in Rock Tunnel. I want to enter Rock Tunnel full HP. Because I'm anticipating quite a few trainer battles here. Healing up our Pokemon. I don't think any of our Pokemon can learn Brick Break. But that's going to be it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and chop down this tree and start off entering Rock Tunnel. It is pretty dark. Let's go ahead and use the secret technique light up. And it is going to light everything up. Starting in Rock Tunnel here. And there's going to be a trainer battle right off the bat. Pokemon fight. Let's go. It's going to be a Pokemaniac Ashton. He's going to have one Pokemon. It's going to be a Slowpoke. We're going to have a decent type advantage here. Unless it's going to be using some Psychic type moves. Which it very well could have. I think we're just going to go ahead and switch out to Sparks. Just in case. I don't want to have to run off to the Pokemon Center again. Pretty close to the start of Rock Tunnel here. It's going to use Growl. I'm going to be okay with that. I think we're just going to go ahead and use Zippy Zap. Oh, maybe Thunderbolt might be better. I don't think it really matters here. Thunderbolt will do it. Slowpoke is down. 144 experience points. Bulbasaur gained 173 experience points, and we went ahead and beat Pokemaniac Ashton. First one went pretty good. I saw there was a item up here. It's going to be a Repel, and I see a Cubone. I'm not sure that we have a Cubone yet. We're going to go ahead and try to catch this Cubone. It's level 18. I don't think we need to use any berries or anything. Let's 
gonna use its attack there on the Pokeball. Got an excellent throw, first throw, two rolls, three rolls, and Cubone's gonna pop out after three rolls. We're gonna try again. Got a great throw. One roll, two rolls, three rolls, and we caught the Cubone. Got 115 experience points. And Cubone is added to the Pokedex. Where is the school of his deceased mother? It echoes, cries echoes inside the school and comes out as a sad melody. Cubone has been added to the party. Not sure we're going to keep that Cubone in the party. We only need, we can only have four Pokemon in one given time. I don't think I want to switch Cubone with Growlithe. So we're just going to go ahead and remove Cubone from the party. We're going to be moving on in this tunnel. We don't need another Zubat, I don't think. Or do we have Zubat? No. Don't remember whether we have it or not. I think we might. We're just going to go ahead and catch it just in case. Popped out after three rolls. I'm going to go ahead and try it one more time. One roll, two rolls, three rolls, and we caught the Zubat. We might already have one of these, but we will find out relatively quickly. 56 experience points, and it looks like we already have one. So we'll just go ahead and remove it from the party. I'm not going to be switching out with anything in our party anytime soon. We'll be moving on. All right. It's going to be a big tunnel here. It's a Machop. I don't think we have one of those either. Let me go ahead and catch this one. We're getting off on a little bit of a tangent here. It's level 19. It's going to be a great throw right off the bat. One roll, two roll, three roll, and we caught the Machop just like that. Adding Machop to the Pokedex, 173 experience points. Very powerful in spite of its small size, its mastery of many types of martial arts makes it very tough. Added to the party, this is going to be someone that's going to be able to use the Brick Break move. However, I'm not sure I'm going to keep Machop in the party. We're going to have to remove it for now. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave your comment below if you want me to switch Machop out with Growlithe. That'll be all up to you guys. Moving on in this tunnel, we do not have a Rhyhorn here. We're getting a little bit off a tangent catching Pokemon, but hey, that is what this game is all about. So let's go ahead and try to catch this Rhyhorn. I'm going to give it a Raspberry. It looks like it's going to be somewhat hard to catch. Switching out to the Great Ball. Should make it a little bit easier. Excellent throw right off the bat. One roll, two roll, three roll, and we caught the Rhyhorn. Adding Rhyhorn to the Pokedex. 288 experience points. Growlithe grew to level 19. Adding the Rhyhorn. Pokemon with one track in mind, once it charges it won't stop running until it falls asleep. Added to the party, I'm not sure we're going to keep the Rhyhorn either. Again that's going to be a, that's a hard decision, but I think we're going to go ahead and remove the Rhyhorn from the party, keeping the Growlithe. Right, let's see what else we can find in this tunnel. I'm not sure that we have Golbat either. That's going to be a stage 1 Pokemon evolving from Zubat. So we won't be able to use it. Looks like we don't have one of these. I'm going to switch off with to the Pokeball here. I'm not super attached into catching this thing. So and I'm sure they will be coming up later down the road as well. One roll. Two roll. 
Reroll and we caught the gold bat. First try, no catch bonus with a red ring. Right off the bat, 365 experience points. Clefairy's gonna grow to level 22 and wants to learn Encore. Hmm, I'm not sure that we need Encore right now. We got Double Slap, Metronome, Dig, and Sing. I think we might just keep our normal moves here that we have. Hmm, yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm... Maybe Double Slap? Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Double Slap. Double Slap doesn't do very much damage anyway. Encore can be useful. Golbat's going to be added to the Pokedex. Attacks within stealthy manner without warning. And sharp Fangs are used to bite and to suck blood. We can't have that in our party. Since it's a stage 1 Pokemon, not a basic Pokemon. We'll go ahead and remove it from our party. Got a lot of Rhyhorns come popping up here. And that is a Onyx. We don't have one of those as well. We're getting distracted a little bit by catching Pokemon. But that's going to be okay. We're going to switch back to the Great Ball. Mm, do we need to use Raspberry? I think we're just going to have to use a Raspberry as well. I'm try to catch this Onyx. Great throw. One roll. Two roll. Three roll. And the Onyx is going to pop out here. It's level 20. We're going to use another Raspberry. Uh, Onyx used its attack there to deflect the Great Ball. No catch bonus on this one. Three rolls. And the Onyx comes out again. We're going to use another Raspberry. This Onyx doesn't seem to be easy to catch. One roll, two roll, three roll, and we caught the Onyx on the third try. Third time was the charm there. I'm going to be adding Onyx to the Pokedex. 180 experience points for the team. Burrows at high speeds and search for food. The tunnels it leaves are used as homes by Diglett. I don't think we'll be using Onyx in our party either. So we'll go ahead and remove Onyx from our party. be moving on in the tunnel here that is going to be a graveler another pokemon we don't have the only level 18 got an excellent throw right off the bat one roll two roll three roll and we caught the graveler first try with an excellent throw 493 experience points Bulbasaur is going to grow to level 28, and Sparks is going to grow to level 27. Sparks wants to learn Agility. Hmm, I don't think we need the Agility move. I'm pretty happy with the moves that we have right now. I'm go ahead and stop this evolution of Bulbasaur. And Gravel is going to be added to the Pokedex. Again, it's not a base Pokemon. Often seen rolling down mountain hills. Obstacles are just things to roll straight over, not avoid. So we won't be able to use this Graveler. Move from the party. I'm going to go and take on this Pokemaniac here. I draw pictures of Pokemon when I'm at home. Clicked a little fast through that. Pokemaniac Winston. One Pokemon, it's gonna be a Kangaskhan. This definitely could be a challenge here. We're gonna be sending out Bulbasaur. Kangaskhan's level 23. Bulbasaur's level 28. We have a little bit of a level advantage here. It's gonna use Fake Out, we're gonna flinch. 
We're gonna try to set up Leech Seed one more time, but King Sun is gonna again outspeed us. And we're gonna flinch again. It's gonna use Bite. So we're able to hit the Leech Seed finally after it takes out over a half of our health. We might have to use a potion pretty quickly here. We're gonna go ahead and use Poison Powder. Set up that combo. So it's chipping away HP every turn. Even if we flinch, we'll still get some sort of damage. Kangasong is hanging in there. We're going to gain some more life off the Leech Seed. Puts us a little bit over half health there. It's also going to be hurt by the poison. We're going to start Razor Leafing here. Gonna use bite again. Critical hit. This King's Kong has proven to be a tough competitor here. When he gains some life, it's gonna be hurt by poison again. One more razor leaf should do it. And that will be it with the King's Kong. Let's see if we can hit this razor leaf. It's gonna use bite. So we flinched, but I'm pretty sure the Leech Seed with the Poison Powder should still do it here. We gain some life. And it's going to be hurt by the Poison. That's going to be enough to bring down the Kangaskhan. Got 474 experience points. Clefairy grew to level 23. That's Pokemaniac Winston. 1100 Poke Dollars and 3 Pokeballs added to our bag. We're going to have to heal our Bulbasaur. It took quite a bit of damage there. But one Super Potion should do it. Moving on in the tunnel. What way should we go here? So this way it just has an item. It's going to be a revive. Might be helpful later in this tunnel. All right, looks like we got a black belt along with an item. I was going to try to get the item first, but it doesn't look like I was able to get there. Black belt Dudley. He has one Pokemon. It's going to be an Onix. Great matchup for Bulbasaur. I don't think we need to set up the Leech Seed or anything. I think we can just use Razor Leaf. Especially with Onyx only being level 24, Bolsor is level 28. Screech is going to lower our defense. Super effective, not quite enough to take out the Onyx in one shot. It's going to use Screech again. If I hit this Razor Leaf, it will be over. And it looks like I will. Onyx is down. And that will be the Black Belt. 388 experience points. Oops, out muscled. 672 Poke Dollars and three Pokeballs added to the bag. I go for power because I hate thinking. Found a dire hit in the battle pocket. We don't need another Onyx to just spawn in there. There's another Graveler. Orticato has got a hiker coming up here. Let's see what else. So it looks like a hiker and maybe another black belt on this level, and we'll be taking some ladders here. Hiker Allen has three Pokemon. First one's going to be Geodude. Which I'm pretty happy with since we're sending out Bulbasaur. I think I'll just be using Razor Leaf here. No surprise. Geodude is down in one shot. Geodude was only level 23. We have a slight type of, for level advantage. Excuse me. 164 experience points. Growlithe grew to level 20. About to send out Onyx. We'll just go ahead and keep Bulbasaur out. 
Should be one or two Razor Leafs here. Should do it on the Onyx. Except Onyx is going to use Dig. Going to avoid our Razor Leaf. So it should outspeed us again. Using Dig. I should hit Razor Leaf while it comes up. And I do almost was able to take it out in one shot. Not quite enough. It's going to use Dig again. So it's going to outspeed us. Use Dig. We'll use Razor Leaf when it comes up. And that should be done with the Onyx. Wonder what his third Pokemon is going to be. Three hundred and seventy-two experience points. About to send out Graveler. We'll go ahead and use Bulbasaur again. Razor Leaf should do it, and it does. One shot on the Graveler. Graveler's down. Also got a critical hit. 377 experience points. Bulbasaur is going to grow to level 29. Beat Hiker Allen. I give. You have more technique than I do. Moving on. We have a little black belt, I said. We have to stop this evolution. We have a black belt trainer on this level. And we'll be moving on. Check to see our Pokemon here. I'm gonna use a single potion on Bulbasaur, which I think I'll do here. Otherwise, I think we are in pretty good shape here to move on. There's also another item in the corner. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Challenged by Black Belt Eric. He has two Pokemon. First one's gonna be Mankey. We don't have any more flying Pokemon in our party. So we're going to go ahead and... Hmm, I want to keep Bulbasaur up on health. Let's go ahead and use Pikachu here. Just take out the Mankey. Quite a chop critical hit. We're going to go ahead and use Zippy Zap. Takes out the Minky. One shot. Critical hit. Spark's got 145 experience. Bolster got 174. Got Polyworld coming out. It's going to be a great matchup for Pikachu. It's only level 24. We're going to go ahead and use Zippy Zap. It's going to be first. And it's going to be a critical hit. It's going to be enough to take Polyroll out in one shot, and that's going to be Black Belt. Spark's got 323 experience points, 672 Poké Dollars, and three Pokéballs added to the bag. Let's see what this item is in the corner. It's going to be three more Great Balls. It's going to be handy a little bit later. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokémon here. Maybe use a potion for Sparks. We're in pretty good shape. All right, moving on to the next level. You see one trainer right off the bat and a Machomp. We already have Machomp. So we're going to have to use or battle this Camper here. Tunnel goes a long way. It'll be Camper Lenny, one Pokemon. It's going to be Growlithe. It's going to be a pretty good matchup against us. With Bulbasaur up front, we're going to have to switch out, I think. I'm not going to try to take on this Growlithe with Bulbasaur. We're just going to switch back out to Sparks. It's going to use Flamethrower on us. Hopefully we won't get burned. About half health, a little bit more. Go ahead and use Zippy Zap. See how much damage that's going to do to Growlithe. That's going to be enough to take the Growlithe out in one shot. 154 experience points for Pikachu, 185 for Bulbasaur. 
Wouldn't defeat Camper Lenny. That is a Rhyhorn. I thought I was going to get past it here. Apparently, I am not. I don't think we need a second Rhyhorn. We're going to go ahead and run away. Continue on in Rock Tunnel. Don't need another Grabbler. So there's two more hikers on this level. Okay, I'm trying to get to this hiker here. There we go. And then we'll be moving on to the next level. Hiker Oliver, two Pokemon. First one's going to be an Onyx. Big and scary. We're going to go ahead and send out our little Bulbasaur. Should be able to take this out, no problem. Onyx is going to use Stealth Rock. Hopefully I won't have to switch out here. Otherwise, those rocks are going to dig into whatever Pokemon I'm going to switch out to. It's going to use Rock Throw. Not very effective. I'm going to go ahead and use another Razor Leaf. It's going to take out the Onyx. Let's see what his next Pokemon is. 372 experience points. Spark Screw to level 28. About to use Sand Slash. We're just going to go ahead and keep. Bulbs were out then. It won't take any damage off the stealth locks. So Sand Slash is going to use Dig. Pretty annoying. It makes us miss our Razor Leaf. Should use Dig here and we'll be able to use Razor Leaf when it comes back up. Razor Leaf hit did a little more than about third damage. Even though we're level 29, that's level 23. I'm try to hit it with the Leech Seed here. We'll hit it with the Leech Seed when it comes back up. We'll gain a little bit every turn. And it got a critical hit, knocking out Bulbasaur. Wow, I cannot believe it. Now we don't have a ton of options here. Pikachu is not very good against Sand Slash. So we're going to try to bring Clefairy out here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we try to dig on our own. So we're going to go ahead and bury our way in the ground. It's going to miss, miss his dig move. And we should be able to hit our dig move. Which is exactly what happened. We did not take... Did not inflict very much damage though. Might just have to revive Bulbasaur here. And let Bulbasaur take out the remaining Sand Slash. Go ahead and see if we can hit a good Metronome. Fire is going to wave its finger around. Try to use Skull Bash. So it's going to be a two turn move. Tucked its head. Defense is going to rise. Dig still did a good amount of damage, but Skull Bash did as well. We're going to go ahead and try to switch out to Bulbasaur, so Clefairy also gets some experience points here. I know Bulbasaur is then going to get hit with the rocks. Sand Slash is going to use Dig again. We're going to go ahead and try to use Razor Leaf after a potion here because I don't really want a chance losing Bulbasaur again. Bulbasaur is in that range where if it gets another critical hit, Bulbasaur will go down again. So let's go ahead and restore its HP. It's going to hit us with Dig. We're going to go ahead and try to use a Razor Leaf. Hopefully it doesn't use Dig again. And it will. The Sand Slash is proving to be slightly annoying. It's going to hit us with Dig one more time. Bring us down to 31 HP. We're able to finally hit Razor Leaf. Bringing down the Sand Slash. 
got 434 experience points. Clefairy grew to level 24. Wants to learn Body Slam. Hmm. Not sure. Really need Body Slam. Encore, maybe? Yeah, let's go ahead and... I don't, I don't foresee using Encore anytime soon. Let's go ahead and delete it for Body Slam. 920 Poké Dollars and 3 Pokéballs added to our bag. We have one more hiker on this level. So we're going to go ahead and have to heal up our Pokémon. We're only at 9 Super Potions left. To get us through the other side of Rock Tunnel. We've got to be careful about where we're going to be using those. Going forward here. Alright, that should be good enough. Moving on to the second hiker. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. Oh, okie dokie. Hiker Claws. Two Pokemon. Got Machop added. Chop's gonna be level 23. Bulbasaur's gonna be level 29. We're gonna go ahead and use the Leech Seed combo here. It's gonna use Brick Break. Not very effective. I'm gonna gain some life off the Leech Seed. Going to use poison powder as well. Avoided the attack. It's not inflicting very much with the brick brick there. Since we're gaining most of it back with the leech seed. Still doing a little bit of damage, but looks like one damage a turn. We're inflicting a little more of the leech seed poison powder combo. Normally, Burst Break is a pretty good maneuver. However, it's not going to be very effective against Bulbasaur. Hurt by the poison. We're going to go ahead and use Razor Leaf now. Razor Leaf shouldn't do that much damage, but should put it in line with the Leech Seed and Poison Powder. Should do it here. Bulbasaur is going to gain some life. The Chomp's going to get hit with the poison. The Chomp is down. And then it's going to be Hiker Claws. 167 experience points. Oh, I forgot it has one. He has one more Pokemon left. And it's going to be a Rhyhorn. For some reason, I thought he only had one Pokemon there. I don't think we need to set up the same combo here. I think Razor Leaf should do it. Not quite in one shot. I'm going to have to use another Razor Leaf. It's going to use Drill Run. Doesn't do very much damage to Bulbasaur here. Go ahead and use that Razor Leaf. Knocks out the Rhyhorn. And that will be Iker Claws. 188 experience points. I give... We're moving on to the next level here of Rock Tunnel. <laughs> Accidentally ran into this Machop here. It's level 22. We don't need another Machop. I don't think I'm going to be using it if I caught it. Another Onyx. There's three Onyxes right there. It's crazy how many Onyxes are spawned in all in one spot. You have a Pokedex? I want one. You have to go talk to Professor Oak for one of those. Pokemania Cooper is going to send out Ivysaur. This is going to be the evolved form of Bulbasaur. I don't think Bulbasaur is going to be very effective against this. So we're going to try Growlithe out here. Flamethrower should be super effective. Should be a pretty easy matchup for the Growlithe. 
Whoever the Ivysaur is going to use takedown. Damage by recoil. Hopefully, I'm not sure that we can outspeed Ivysaur. It's going to put us in a little bit of a pickle here. So if I use a super potion, hopefully it doesn't keep using takedown. It's going to use takedown again. Hmm. I don't think I have that many accidentally misclicked on the Leer. It still outsped us anyway. And Growlithe is down. Hmm. Do I use Sparks here? No, Sparks is not going to be very effective either. Fairy just knows Metronome. We double kick, Zippy Zap, Thunderbolt. Light screen. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Go and send out sparks. We're gonna try a zippy zap. It's gonna go first. It's critical hit. It's not gonna be very effective. However, it still did enough. I think I can use one more and it should be good to go. Growl didn't do a very good job on this Ivysaur. 325 experience points. Rust team got 390. Bulbasaur grew to level 30. Shoot, I am so jealous. You should be. We're gonna stop our evolution here. We have to heal up our Growlithe. Use one of our four revives. Hopefully not many more of our Pokemon are going to faint here. I don't know if I'm anticipating using Growlithe anytime soon now. Found a full heal. So there's another Golbat. We don't need another one of those. Let's see if we can get around these Onyxes here. Run into this trainer, can bend two twigs as trail markers. It's a good tip to have. Ace Trainer Sophia, two Pokemon. First one's going to be a Vulpix. Again, that's going to be a pretty good matchup against Bulbasaur. So we're going to have to switch out right off the bat. Vulpix is going to be level 24. Even though Bulbasaur is level 30, all of its moves should be super effective against Bulbasaur. So we're going to switch out to sparks here it's gonna use flamethrower hopefully we don't get burned off the flamethrower and we don't we're gonna go ahead and use zippy zap it's gonna be first critical hit not quite couldn't quite get the bull picks in one shot we're gonna take another flamethrower in result Making us use another Zippy Zap. Now Vulpix will be down. Moving on to this Ace Trainer's second Pokemon. 143 experience points. It's going to be a Kadabra. Hmm. Again, not a very good matchup for Bulbasaur. So we're going to go ahead and keep Sparks out. It's level 25. Let's see how much a Thunderbolt will do here. A little more than half damage. It's going to use Psybeam. Wow, that was enough to take out Sparks. We're going to try to have Clefairy switch in. Hmm. So let's go ahead and try to use Dig. Except it's going to outspeed us. I was trying to avoid getting hit with an attack. Didn't work. Fire is going to be underground. It's going to try to nightshade. We're going to hit it with dig. It's going to be enough to take Kadabra down. And we're going to have to heal our Pikachu. Stronger than I thought. 2,500 Poke Dollars and 5 Ultra Balls added to the bag. 
All right, let's go ahead and heal our Pikachu here. All right, we don't have that many potions left. We should be approaching into the tunnel sometime soon, though. Hmm. I think that's all we're going to use potions so far. We're mainly using Sparks and Bulbasaur here. Found a bag of Stardust in the corner. We may just go ahead and skip this one trainer for now. Because we are running low on potions. Alright, I saw an item up here. It's going to be another super potion. Which is good for us because we're definitely running low. We'll have to run, go to a mart after this. This is going to be a black belt. See what kind of Pokemon he has. Normally they have fighting type Pokemon. Black belt Steve is going to send out a Machomp. As expected, I'm going to send out Bulbasaur. Hmm. We may just have to use the Leech Seed Poison Powder combo again. It's going to avoid Leech Seed. We're going to try one more time. Alright, we hit the Leech Seed this time. It's going to use Low Kick. It's not very effective. I think it might be gaining more off my Leech Seed than it's inflicting in with the Low Kick. Alright, we're going to be using Poison Powder here. Setting up the combo, and then we'll be using Razor Leaf after that. Chop was poison. It's using seismic toss. It's gonna do as much damage as it is leveled. Quite a bit more than the low kick. It did 24 damage there. We're getting a little bit back off the leech seed. But if it keeps using that maneuver, we gotta put this Machop away soon. We're gonna be using Razor Leaf, and that's gonna be hurt by the leech seed and poison powder. I don't know if it's going to be quite enough to take out the Machop here. So we may have to use one more Razor Leaf. It's going to be hurt by the poison. Yeah, not quite enough to take out the Machop. I'm going to low on Razor Leaf. I think I'm just going to let the Leech Seed and the Poison Powder take out the Machop. Of course it used Seismic Toss on the turn, I decided to do that. Oh well, we're going to gain a little bit back off the Leech Seed. Moving on to its second Pokemon, which is also going to be another Machop. We may just have to switch out to Sparks because Bulbasaur is growing low on health. I think the Pikachu can take out the Machop anyway. Chomp's level 24, matching the last one. And Sparks is going to be level 28. We're going to use Zippy's Vap. Almost enough to take it out in one shot. It's going to use Brick Break. Which does a good amount of damage. Almost about half damage. But another Zippy's Zap will do it. We're going to have to heal our Pokemon after this battle, I think. 145 experience points. Beat Black Belt Steve, 672 Poke Dollars and 3 Pokeballs added to the bag. Let's go ahead and see what we have left for potions. I'm going to definitely have to heal Bulbasaur. Even though it's running a little bit low on power points of its moves. I think that's going to be all we can afford right now. Moving on to the next level. Another guy that gives us Pokeballs. Yep, sure is. We're not running low on Pokeballs anytime soon. Alright, so we got a couple trainers right here. There's an item. Another super potion. So that's going to be super helpful. Let's see what else we have in this level. Another item right here. It's going to be a bag of Stardust. Be selling that a little bit later. Alright. 
So it looks like we're getting pretty close to the end of the tunnel. I'll probably be going back and getting those trainers in a little bit. This is going to be Picnicker Dana. Two Pokemon. Sends out a Meow. I'm going to go ahead and send out Bulbasaur. Meowth is level 22. Bulbasaur is level 30. I think I can switch out to Sparks. It knows Double Kick, which is going to be super effective against the Meowth. So let's go ahead and go with that plan, especially when Bulbasaur is a little bit low on power points. It might be super effective against Ida or Pokemon a little bit further in the tunnel here. Go ahead and use Double Kick. It's going to be enough to take out the Meow one shot. Moving on to its second Pokemon, 152 experience points for Bulbasaur. Has a Vulpix as a second Pokemon. We might just keep Sparks out. Since Vulpix is a good matchup against Bulbasaur, we go ahead and use Zippy Zap. Vulpix is down one Zippy Zap. And that is Picnicker Dana. 131 experience points. I'm out of Pokemon. 440 Poke Dollars and two Great Balls added to the bag. Let's go ahead and see how much of this tunnel we have left. Oh, there's a sign here. That's a good sign. Rock Tunnel. Okay, so we are should be pretty close to the end of the tunnel then. Found a Pearl. Whoop. Here is the end of the tunnel. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back and battle those other trainers, I think. And then we'll leave. The... Alright, uh, it looks like I couldn't quite avoid this Onyx. We'll go ahead and run away. I'm going to try to battle these two trainers. And then we'll get out of the rock tunnel. I know this has been a long episode, guys. But thank you for bearing with me. Camper Leroy has one Pokemon. There's been a lot of Pokemon battles in this episode. It's going to be a neater Rhino. We're going to send out Bulbasaur. I don't think we're going to be able to poison it, but we're going to go ahead and use Leech Seed. Leech Seed is going to be able to gain life every turn here. Gain some life from the Leech Seed. I think we'll be using Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf didn't do very much damage there. It's going to need a couple of more to take out the Needle Rhino. Hmm. Hopefully I won't need to use very many Razor Leaves for the second trainer here. Need Rhino uses Horn Attack. Doesn't do very much damage at all. They might be gaining more off the Leech Seed. Bulbasaur is almost a full health. So we're doing pretty good against this Need Rhino. Razor Leaf hits. Not very effective, but it's gonna be down. 337 experience points. Beat Camper Leroy. 440 Poke Dollars. And two Great Balls added to the bag. We have one more trainer left in this tunnel. And we are going to be leaving and be arriving to Lavender Town. Picnicker Leah. One Pokemon. It's going to be a Nidorina. Go ahead and send out Bulbasaur. We're going to go ahead and use Leech Seed again, just like the previous Pokemon. But again, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to poison this Pokemon. It's going to use Bite. Gain a little bit off the Leech Seed. Gained up to full health. Going to be using Razor Leaf. 
Again, doesn't do very much damage. Neither does that bite though. Gonna gain some more life off the leech seed. Back up to full health. So we're definitely gonna win this race at this rate. It's gonna use double kick. It's only gonna do four damage for both kicks. And we gained all that back with the Leech Seed. Gonna be using Razor Leaf one more time. I'm not sure that the Leech Seed though is gonna be quite enough to take out the Nidorena. And, but it is. It is gonna be down. And that is gonna be the Pegnicker. Bulbasaur is gonna gain some more life. 337 experience points. Growlithe grew to level 21. And wants to learn agility. So if Leer helping hand take down Flamethrower, I'm not sure I'm gonna be using helping hand anytime soon. Go ahead and delete that move for agility. Defeated Picnicker Leah. 440 Poke Dollars and two Great Balls added to the bag. And that is gonna be Rock Tunnel. We're gonna be leaving this place. And I think that is going to be the end of the episode, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content like this one. And I'll see you in the next episode.